My name is Jill Gagnon and I am the head softball coach. My first job out of college was as a credit manager for Wells Fargo. So, a little different than coaching. <laughs> I think I'd have to say the sense of community that we have here and just the people that I work directly with in athletics and also throughout the school are super helpful and very friendly and you know obviously I really really like working with my kids as well. I've had some great kids um, that I've become friends with after they graduate from here and so I really like really like the people in the community here. Four years ago I had the opportunity to become the assistant coach and uh, being a Manchester native, I thought it was a great opportunity, so I took it and definitely happy that I did. My favorite memory would probably be um, going to NCAAs two years ago. It was a huge accomplishment for the program. We hadn't been there since 2002, so that was something that, you know, I really, really enjoyed and, and so did the girls, so. Outside of coaching, I enjoy doing things with friends and family, um, having barbecues, doing things outdoors, um, going hiking. I like going to concerts. I really like going to concerts, like music. So, I got into coaching. I got an opportunity to coach um, at a school, and I was working for Wells Fargo. And while I did enjoy that job, I just felt like there was some type of competitive aspect missing from having a regular nine to five job and I didn't realize how much I had missed the sport and the game and the competitive nature of what comes along with athletics and so when I got the opportunity um, I took it and I'm, I'm really glad I did and obviously the road has led me to here which you know I couldn't be happier and hopefully we'll be doing great things here in the future so My favorite pro team is the New England Patriots, um, best football team out there. Yes, I do definitely idolize Bill Belichick. I think he's a phenomenal coach. I've watched several documentaries about the Patriots, his coaching. Um, I just think that clearly they're, they're doing something right. And yes, I am an avid Patriots fan and I will be watching the game every Sunday. <laughs> um, going right, right alongside that, I'd obviously have to say Tom Brady. He's the GOAT. I mean. You can argue with me all you want. I've definitely got into some, uh, you know, heated conversations about Tom Brady, and I got his back all day. So I try to be productive on bus trips. Um, usually, I'm looking over pitching charts and lineups and scouting material. But then, usually, what it turns into is me laughing at my kids, um, doing ridiculous, you know dances and karaoke sing along so I can't really get too much done I try to but they're actually I don't mind them at all I think they're pretty fun so I don't remember offhand what the last movie I saw was but I do enjoy watching the ESPN 30 for 30 documentaries I've seen probably every single one of those so that's a tough one um, I've been to quite a few concerts um, I'm actually going to Coldplay next weekend and I'm really, really excited about that because I've never seen them and I hear they put on an amazing concert. So just because that's coming up, I'll say that because I'm really excited. I guess, you know, I already said it, making NCAAs, I mean, that was a huge accomplishment going from not even, you know, we hadn't made the any 10 tournament in a couple of years. So going from not only making that, but getting a regional bid, I mean, that was just, that was huge for us. Um, so that's definitely my most, you know, my biggest accomplishment here coaching. Um, as a player, I would say just probably pitching a no-hitter in the A-10 conference tournament to eliminate, eliminate snow would probably be the highlight of my career that I remember. So.